Since 1925, we've known that our universe is constantly expanding, but recent studies show it's expanding much faster than we thought. With all that space, you'd expect a certain amount of mystery. Scientists have recently discovered a mysterious signal from space. They assumed it was of natural causes, but the signal is constantly repeating and coming from the same spot in the universe. This leaves open the possibility that it may be an alien attempt to contact other life. The signal was first detected in 2007 and its origin is still unclear. It is thought to come from a galaxy far away. All else about the signal is a complete mystery. Not all planets orbit a star. A rogue planet is just a planet that moves freely through space without being bound to anything. They were only recently discovered and astronomers had no idea what to think of them. It's unknown how rogue planets could have been formed. One theory is that they once had their own star, but they broke away from the star's gravity, so now they're just whizzing around in space. There is a doomsday theory that a rogue planet will crash into Earth on June 25th. I'm writing this in July. It is thought there might be several billion rogue planets in our galaxy. On the surface of Jupiter is a huge storm. The storm has been going for at least 186 years. It may well have started over 300 years ago, and no one knows when it will stop, if it ever will. It's known as the Great Red Spot and it hasn't yet died because of Jupiter's volatile climate. It is more than two times the size of our planet. Recent observations show signs that it may be disappearing. It's getting smaller, but astronomers have no idea why. Kepler-78b is more well known as the Hell Planet. This is because of its dreadfully hot conditions. But that's not the mysterious part. As far as science is concerned, this planet should not exist. It's only just bigger than Earth, but it's only one million miles away from its sun. It's thought to be impossible for a planet that size to form that close to a star. So that begs the question of how it's got there. That question may never be answered. The Hell Planet won't be around for much longer as gravity pulls it into the star. Uranus isn't noteworthy just because of its name. It's a pretty mysterious place. The planet rotates on its side. No one knows why it is sideways, but it may have been knocked over by a giant asteroid. Five years ago, a large white spot was seen on the planet. The spot stretched on for hundreds of miles. Initial speculation was that it might be a huge storm. It's still unknown what caused it and it's the same story for many other spots observed on the planet. The other spots are usually darker, but their origins are equally mysterious. In 1916, Albert Einstein predicted a mathematical anomaly. That anomaly came to be known as the black hole. There are so many mysteries associated with black holes I could make a whole video on them. Black holes emit radiation until they disappear, but no one knows where this radiation comes from. It can't be from what falls into the black hole, as such information completely disappears. And that is the main mystery of black holes. Where does the radiation come from? There are many theories regarding it, one of which is that black holes are just a glitch in the matrix. The Large Quasar Group is a collection of supermassive black holes. It was discovered three years ago, and it's changed the way astrophysics is taught. Until now, it was thought that no structure could be bigger than 1.2 billion light years. But the Large Quasar Group is 4 billion. It's unknown how this is possible. All other structures discovered have been less than 1 billion. 
Believe it or not, there is a planet twice the size of Earth, and it's made completely out of diamond. The diamond planet has been reported by Forbes as being worth 26.9 nondillion dollars. Just one nondillion is the number one, followed by 30 zeros. The diamond planet is only 40 light years away, but the cost of extracting and transporting the diamonds back here would by far outweigh its value. The amount of diamonds would also completely destroy the market here on Earth, so it's best to leave it. We've all heard folk tales involving shooting stars. What they refer to as shooting stars aren't actually stars, but free moving objects. But there is a real shooting star, it's a 6 billion year old red giant moving at almost 300,000 miles per hour. It was observed in 1596, but they looked back a while later and it was gone. This happened many more times over the next few centuries, and no one could understand it. It was unknown that stars could move this way. When astronomers finally discovered it as one star, they were shocked by its 13 light year long tail, which no other star had. This next one is just a theory, but I'm including it as it's become an accepted principle of physics. It's the idea that everything three-dimensional in our universe is just a hologram, and that includes us. The theory was thought up by Leonard Susskind. He realized that when something falls into a black hole, a version of it is squashed into a two-dimensional film at the edge of the event's horizon. He expanded this principle, arguing that our universe is just a holographic projection of a two-dimensional film at the edge of our universe. And I'm not sure what that means, but it does sound good.